Obama, the health care law, and his threats to the Supreme Court. One of my Facebook friends, a uh, fellow watchman, a very prophetic guy, uh, his name is Prince Peace. We talk a lot about Obama and about stuff that's going on in the world, and we both believe that Obama is the future Antichrist. Uh, he showed me something. I caught wind of it yesterday, but I didn't get the whole gist of it until Prince told me. And Prince, is, again, is a very prophetic guy. He's one of the few people that when I hear from him, what he says resonates with the Holy Spirit within me. And I know he's talking about uh, he's coming from the Holy Spirit. Of yesterday, apparently, yesterday or shortly around that time, um, Mr. Obama uh, threatened the Supreme Court saying that they are not elected officials and that they should not uh, try to use their power to overthrow his very important sweeping health care law. Now, this is unheard of for a president to be going after the Supreme Court. He went after him again in 2010 on another issue. But this is a really big one right now because, as my friend Prince Peace said, and as I believe is very, very, very possible, this health care law, as most people don't know, uh, people watching this may know, but a lot may not know, has the um, the chip that he wants to put in everybody to uh, supposedly to, first of all, help them with their health and attract their allergies and stuff. But it will also uh, it's also it's huge. I think it's just like 128 gigs of material can go on there, which is like a humongous hard drive. It can store all your financial uh, material, uh, things for banking, things for buying and selling, for loans, your whole history of your family, uh, your, your beliefs, your political beliefs, your uh, your rig religious beliefs, etc. And this is extremely important. And if this thing gets shot down by the Supreme Court, it's gone. And my friend Prince Peace believes that uh, all of the devils and all of the, the demons that work with Mr. Obama have uh he because I, I don't think he's the antichrist yet because he has to be fully empowered he has to be fully uh satan incarnate which is not going to happen until after the the uh, church is raptured the holy remnant of the church who serve jesus christ the way the holy bible says cover to cover and who make sure which is part of the bible repents after we're saved we're going to be gone and before he's fully satan incarnate but he has demons that are protecting him and all around him which is what i believe got him into the white house got him through all of this phony stuff with his you know there's so many so many things about obama that are red flagged i don't believe a word the guy says i don't believe he's from where he says he's from i don't believe he is who he says he is it's very very bad news but the bottom line is this and i don't care who all gets mad at me i just did the video a little while ago about the hipster jesus and about how they're trying to set up the antichrist who i think is obama i've already got a lot of nasty comments and negative comments from from satan's helpers it doesn't bother me i'm a watchman i'm called to speak for the Lord Jesus Christ. I've got a backbone of Kevlar, and I'm not going to stop doing my job until the day I die or the day I'm raptured. So the bottom line is, uh, my friend Prince Peace, which I agree 100%, believes that demons are are going through Mr. Obama and using him to threaten the Supreme Court because he's already heard it leaked like all of us have. Supreme Court is seriously looking at shooting this down. If it gets shot down, he can't put the the mark of if it, if it is some kind of a chip through his health care plan. He can't put that in people. And it's gonna. It's not gonna happen that way, anyways. I mean, they're not gonna be able to shoot it down if it's in the Lord's will. If it's part of the end times, it's not gonna happen. But Obama's demons know there's problems, so they're working on trying to put pressure on the Supreme Court. That's insane. It's like mafia tactics. No one puts pressure on the Supreme Court. They're their own entity. Of course, they're not elected. If they were elected, they could lose their office. That's why they're appointed for life. You can't have them elected because then people like Obama can bully them all the time. But this guy is evil. This guy is dangerous. This guy is bad. This guy is full of Satan to the hilt. So keep an eye on all of this. Keep an eye on this. Hipster Jesus coming out in Newsweek. My friend Sandy uh, showed me that uh, it's Newsweek instead of Time, so I apologize for my last video, but go to MSN Now, is what it's called, MSN Now, and you'll see the little thing for the Hipster Jesus in Newsweek coming out, the eighth cover, and how it, um, watch the little one minute blurb, and you'll see what I was talking about, how they're setting up the Antichrist, but just keep it, Mr. Obama's bad, bad, bad news. I've been ex exposing this guy from the very beginning, my friend Prince Peace has. When this guy was just, that, when he just got elected as a senator, I told everybody he's going to be president. He just gave me the bad vibes. And other people have told me they think he's the Antichrist. I believe fully he's going to be the future Antichrist. And he's just bad, bad, bad news. And nothing you can do about it, what's going to happen is what's going to happen. But as a watchman, I warrant you can know. So you can have the information, the 411, to be able to look and deal. And, and most of the church, sadly, is going to be left behind. They aren't going to make the rapture, so they have to know what's going on, too. So I warn them, all with this Newsweek thing, with, with Jesus, you know, don't follow anything else. Just follow Jesus. Watch my video. They're trying to say, get rid of, you know, get rid of organized religion. 
get rid of the televangelists, get rid of, of, of politics, get rid of all that, and just follow Jesus. But nowhere in there is the Bible. See, they want you to follow Jesus, who the Antichrist and the false prophet and Satan are going to be the unholy trinity, the phony trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They're setting it all up, my friends. It's getting close, close, close. So keep an eye on Mr. Obama. Watch. I've got several videos on him here. Google my videos on YouTube. I've got really good information on that guy. I've got biblical stuff that show he matches all the criteria for the Antichrist. I've got stuff going on that he's been trying to pull lately. All this junk. Really, really, really crazy stuff. And also, some people saying this is fake. But I checked with the, with the authenticator. And he says that he is sure that it's not. Picture floating around of Obama yesterday wearing a um, wearing an Aleister Crowley t-shirt it says AC 2012 and if you look in the picture on the right hand side corner kind of hiding there you can see part of them though is a secret service guy in a suit they're always around Obama he's kind of like in the background trying to keep away but you never see a suit in the gym okay this is legitimate if it resonates within me I don't care what they try to say or they try to debunk it they also say his birth certificate's 100% legitimate but there's all kinds of stuff that's floating around people who don't even have axe to grinds now from other countries are saying it's bogus so you know believe what you want to believe but this picture, I believe, is totally true. And we know that Aleister Crowley's initials are AC. Okay, the most evil man that ever walked the face of the earth. He makes Hitler look like Mary Poppins. But also AC stands for Antichrist. So I believe this guy is just so bold and cocky and arrogant. He's advertising Antichrist 2012. Is the, is the Antichrist coming in 2012? Is the rapture going to be in 2012? No one knows for sure but God. But we know we're on the doorstep, my friends. We know we are on the doorstep of eternity. We know that the, that the rapture is imminent. You have to get ready right now. Find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior right now. Get out and reap the harvest right now. It's so plentiful, it's rotting in the field. Share the good news of Jesus Christ right now. But keep an eye on Mr. Obama. I've been watching this guy for years and years. He's bad, bad, bad news. Keep a very close eye on him. But especially keep a close eye on Jesus. He's the most important one. And reaching the lost, praying, making sure your own life is in order. Don't let this distract you. But keep it, keep, keep it in mind. Know what's going on. Because the watchman, it's my job to tell you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help people to be able to see and relate and understand what's going on. Please help people see through Mr. Obama. He is so evil and corrupt. And help people not to follow him and love him and worship him like they do. Even so many Christians think he's a great guy. because He claims he's a Christian. His fruit is rotten. Christians will display fruit. His fruit is rotten. Just help us, Jesus, to have discernment. Help us to understand what's going on. And please continue to give people like me and my friend Prince Peace, who gave me the info on this, just to get the word out so we can understand what's going on. If I stand with my brother Prince Peace on this whole issue or I wouldn't record it. It resonates with my with the Holy Spirit within me. I believe it. I stand with him. And I'm with him on this. So I'm recording it, getting it out to the masses. Thank you for everything, Jesus. I love you so much. Amen. If you do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I believe you went back to heaven and get the right hand side of the Father. And since that time, I believe you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Wash my heart pure and holy. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. Come live in my heart. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. Jesus says in the Bible that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Make sure you're getting, when you get saved, make sure you're, you get your King James Bible and read it night and day. It's your food. It's your water. It's a living, breathing word of God. It's your nourishment for your soul. Pray to your new best friend, Jesus Christ, every day. He wants to hear from you. Get water baptized as you grow in what little time we have left before the rapture. Pray to be sanctified, head to toe with the Holy Spirit. Take your King James Bible. Find a good Christian church to go to when the preacher starts Talking about the Bible, if it don't match what your Bible says, close it, get up and walk out, find a new church to go to. If you have a question, you want to talk, you have any concerns, you want to pray, message me. I'd love to talk to you. I'm always here for you. If you have any other concerns at all, it doesn't matter what, if you have a friend, neighbor, coworker, loved one, anyone who does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If you're sick, if you have a sick friend, a family member, neighbor, coworker, loved one, a sick pet. If you need a job, car, home, food, clothes, water, any need, you want someone to pray for you, send me a message. I have the gift of faith. I prayed and God gave it to me. Nothing on my own. Praise the Lord. He gave it to me. I have mustard seed faith now. I'll pray for you daily that God would answer your prayers. I'll believe in my heart. I'll speak with my mouth. And I know for a fact he'll answer all my prayers if I pray in his holy will. He performs miracles all the time through his humble slave's belief in my faith. Never me. All for the glory of God. I'm nobody. I'm a tiny fish in a huge pond. I'm at least in the kingdom of God. I'm a slave to Jesus. But the Holy Spirit runs strong in me. Share this video with everybody you can. Go to my channel and watch the other videos I've mentioned. Get caught up on things. Share it with friends, neighbors, coworkers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant a seed and walk away and let God water it so it can grow. we got to get the word out the way it's preached here. Most preachers are spineless. I'm not. I'll preach it the way it's written in the Bible. All for the glory of God, never for me. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Get ready, my friends. We're close to the rapture.